Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video of all my weekly sales on eBay. This has been a really slow week. I only had, looks like 26 sales uh, total for the week. $773 sold total. Um, I think for reference last week I had about 2,000 sold um, and only a $366 net. Uh, for the week, which is really low, um, but I know exactly why it was low. It's because I have not been listing very much at all. In fact, let's take a look here. Um, let's see. I've only listed 21 things in the past week. I typically try to list at least five things per day, so 35 at a bare minimum. I did not hit my bare minimum, um, and my sales are suffering because of it. Uh, I guess they're not too bad. I've, I've definitely had worse weeks, but um, this one was not very good. I don't know. I don't know if there's other things going on in the eBay world or not, but um, either way, it's not been a great week with only these 26 sales. Let's run through the top 10 because I did have some okay, uh, some okay sales, some interesting things I'd love to run through. So let's do it. Let's dive in. Uh, first up, number 10 on the list is this uh, vintage uh, Budweiser painter's cap. Pretty cool. I'm surprised it took this long to sell, honestly. I've had it for 470 days. You can see there. I got it for a dollar. I think I got this in an estate sale uh, and I sold it for $23 and had a net of $14.85. It's a pretty unique little hat. I'm surprised it didn't, um, surprised it didn't go sooner. Number nine is this uh, Jurassic World T-Rex. So um, these are a good thing to keep an eye out for. It's very easy for resellers to overlook just like plastic toy dinosaurs. Uh, but if they are the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park branded, they can often be very good. So typically these are priced really low. They, you know, used dinosaur. People aren't going to think it's worth much money. But you find the little markings right there. You can see... Uh, the um, little Jurassic World logo, uh, and they can be pretty good. This one used uh, was twenty nine ninety nine. Where did I get this? Um, I believe I got it at a thrift store. Let's see. Yeah, Salvation Army on September of last year, two hundred twenty seven days ago. I paid four dollars, so I did pay a little bit, a little bit of money for it. Not a dollar, but uh, it ended up being $14.92 after fees, shipping, and taxes for the ninth best flip of the week. Number eight, I got this at a garage sale. How long ago? 111 days ago. Wow, it didn't seem like that long. And I paid $12 for this. Wow, that surprises me too. Why would I pay $12 for that? I mean, it did sell for $45.50 uh, with shipping, and I ended up netting $15.01, but I'm really surprised that I paid $12 for that. I don't know. At least it sold, and it you know what was the ROI? 125 percent. Yeah, could be worse. My average ROI is, well, for this week it was 717 lifetime. It's usually about 600 percent, and so it definitely doesn't meet uh, meet the standards in terms of typical ROI. But whatever. Took 111 days to sell, and I got I got more than my money back on it, or I got I doubled my money on it. Uh, next up, and this may be a record for me. Maybe uh, not. Maybe not a record, but this is one of the oldest items that I've had that still has sold. It looks like it's 826 days old. I don't even remember where I got this. Let's take a look here. On January 30th, 2021, uh, and I, let's see, what did I pay for it? $3. It sold for $28.64. Um, I don't even know what it is. I don't know. It's a book, obviously. Sky Without Stars. I think I just happened to pick it up because the cover looked interesting. I, I found that I've made some decent money off of uh, science fiction books, and this one looked sci-fi. But I opened it up, and it was science. Like, oh, might as well. Might as well get it then. Uh, but it took 826 uh, days to sell, and I made $16.16 16 uh, net after all the uh, fees, shipping, and taxes for the seventh best flip. Sixth best, let's take a look here. Um, ah, yes, this um, uh, Emation Super Disc. This is like an old, I think it's like an older Mac, kind of like a zip drive, I don't know if you remember those. Uh, it's like a uh, extendable memory, like back when you know floppy disks and maybe CD burning was just becoming a thing. And this was like an external drive, uh, probably popular with designers and, and sending design files here and there. I bought it at a estate sale not that long ago. It's only been listed for 11 days and uh, had no way to test it, had no other cables. Uh, so I sold it for 20 bucks and uh, I ended up netting $16.27 for the sixth best flip of the week. Fifth best is this Cuisinart food processor uh, bowl, or uh, sorry, lid, and um, 
you know, anytime I see a Cuisinart food processor, I almost always buy it, um, you know, if it's, if it's priced okay, uh, simply because parting it out just does really well. Usually this one piece, you know, I typically get seven or eight different pieces off of a Cuisinart food processor like this. Um, and this one sold for 30 bucks. And so you end up making quite a bit of money, even if the unit doesn't work, um, you know, if the actual motor unit doesn't work. So this, uh, I've only had up for three weeks. Um, I gave it a dollar cost of goods. It sold for 30 and I made $17 and 22 cents on that. One thing you do have to be careful with though, are the blades. Uh, there's certain Cuisinart blades that are, um, they have been recalled. Um, and so if you list them on eBay, eBay will remove them and give you a ding on your account. In fact, like the only time I've ever had my account suspended uh, was because of a Cuisinart blade uh, where I had two of them listed and I sold one of them and then I got a ding on the account for both. And they, I guess they considered, you know, two of them, two dings. And that was like a, a three day suspension. So I just don't, I don't list any Cuisinart, um, blades at all ever. And I would recommend you do not do that either. All right. Uh, number four is this, uh, Polaroid one step, uh, camera. So this I got, uh, not that long ago. It only took four days to sell. This was, I got at a saver sort of thrift store. Typically something like this at a thrift store is going to be priced pretty high, but it was only $3 and 50 cents, which I thought was kind of odd. I sold it for 34.98 and made $18 and 68 cents, 534% ROI for the fourth best flip of the week. Typically these things at a thrift store would be like 10 bucks, you know? So I went ahead and picked it up and it sold pretty quick. All right, the top three now. Number three is another one of these uh, pet training collars. I sold one of these last week. This one was just like an extendable collar. Didn't have the remote or anything. Uh, it was just the collar. Sold for 50 bucks. It was used, but it really looked new. Um, I, I still I listed it as, um, as used, though. Uh, what did I pay for it? I paid yeah six bucks. It took ten days to sell for fifty bucks, and I netted thirty one dollars and seventy seven cents after taxes, fees, and shipping for the third best flip of the week. Second best flip is this Krupp's Il Primo espresso machine. Um, got this at a garage sale. I paid fifteen bucks, so you know not nothing, um, but it was brand new. It had never been used. The box was open, and it was missing like the um, styrofoam inserts and some of the. Uh, uh, literature and things like that, but it was unused. And so this was an older unit. It looked like it was probably from the early 2000s, maybe late 90s even. Um, and it ended up selling quick, three days uh, for 94.98 total. That includes all the shipping uh, uh, revenue that I got. And I ended up making $42.86 for the second best flip of the week. Um, and that, that's the difference there. See, it sells at $79.98, but I had $15 in shipping. So my total sold cost is those two, those two combined. Basically, all the money that I'm getting from the sale that I then have to then ship it out. You know, But shipping on this, I don't even know what it was. Let's take a look. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Get that back in place. Yeah, shipping on this one was... $23.76, so pretty pretty expensive to ship that. That's what ate into that um, that net there. I never do calculated shipping, though. Um, you know, items have a value. Uh, there's only a certain amount of money people will pay uh, for an item uh, to get it delivered to their door. And if I would have done calculated shipping on this, it probably would have been, you know, it would have been, you know, $23.00. Um, which would have put this out of the range of what most people are going to pay uh, for this unit. And so, um, you know, that's just, that's my strategy. Works for me, doesn't work for everyone. All right. The top flip of the week is this Trio. It's like a 3D camera, point and shoot camera. I make so much money off of point and shoot cameras. It's, it's incredible. Uh, this one's an interesting one, though, because it's like a 3D one. It has like three lenses there. Um, it's, it's old. I can't remember when it was from. It looks like it's from the 90s, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't know if we can see it on the box here or not. No, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, this was in the box, um, and it had, had everything. It looked like it had, had not been used, and I'd had this for a long time. I can't believe I had this 643 days, you know, so two years, basically. So I don't even know where I got this. It's been so long ago. Let's take a look. I'm at a garage sale, you know, on uh, July 31st, 2021. Um Wow, I spent $183 that day at garage sales, 54 items. That must have been a big, big garage selling day. I have no memory of it. But anyway, this thing took forever to sell, um, but it sold for 60 bucks total. 
looks like I took a best offer on it. It cost me $2.50, and I made a net of $43.49 for the top flip of the week. Also had a really strong ROI there, 1,740%. That's it. That's my week. 26 uh, things sold. Hopefully next week's better. Um, you know, in fact, I'm I'm, I'm part, part way into to, to next week. I'll tell you, it's not that much better. Hopefully things pick up. I just got to start listing more, you know? I got this, uh, I got a new puppy. And so the new puppy's taking up a lot of my time. Uh, but anyway, 26 items out the door, $773 uh, gross sales and only a net of $366. So the ups and downs uh, of flipping. And this one was a down. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week for more flips of the week. Thanks.